guys, it's Sandy. Welcome to my channel. I have some freezer meal preps to share with you today. So these are all gonna be chicken. Whenever I do freezer meal prep, I like to use the same protein that keeps it easy for me. So I already put the um, chicken into each of the bags. That way I don't have to wash my hands again. So I put the chicken in, wash my hands. They're in there now. So I'm using my freezer bags to put these meals in. I did chicken thighs, you can do chicken breasts, whatever you want. So I put five chicken thighs into each of these for my family, you know the size of your family, so put accordingly how much chicken you want into those. Our four freezer meals are gonna be chicken and broccoli alfredo, white chicken chili, chicken parmesan, and a Mexican chicken. So right now, most of us are at home, or a lot of us in America are at home. You might not wanna cook every night, by having freezer meals, you don't have to cook every night. You can just go to your freezer and get something. And then whenever we do get back to normal in America, then on those busy weeknights, you'll have um, meals in your freezer ready. So let's start with the chicken. Alfredo is what we're gonna start with. I did already write on the bags what they are. It's really important. You think I'm not gonna forget what's in these, but you will. So I'm just gonna use my bowl here because then everything will stand up for me. And this is so simple, but it's really good. Um, my family really likes this. So uh, first you're gonna need to start with Alfredo sauce. Usually I just make my own Alfredo sauce, but if it's frozen and I'm just trying to get dinner ready quick, then this is our favorite, the Bertoli. This is really good Alfredo sauce. So you're gonna need two jars of Alfredo sauce. Just pour it in. And my second jar of Alfredo sauce. Okay. To our alfredo sauce we're going to add one teaspoon of garlic or more if you really like it I actually have a half teaspoon here so let me put it in twice but we love garlic so I'm actually just gonna put a lot in and then I need salt and pepper um, just a pinch of salt and it depends on how much is in your alfredo sauce that you use so if it already has a high sodium content then you can um, leave the salt out and then I need a half a teaspoon of pepper so let me put the pepper in there. Now, um, oh, and the last herb that you need is parsley. So a half a teaspoon of parsley going in. Now it's gonna be a frozen dinner, so I didn't need to thaw out my broccoli first, so I just opened up a bag of frozen broccoli to put into our chicken and broccoli Alfredo. So that's it, you guys. That's all that goes into this dish. Let me take it out of here. And then I'm going to just close it up first with air in the bag. So you can see, left the air in there for now just so I can move it all around in the bag. It moves around easier. Now I've got it all mixed up into the bag. And let me close it up. Now the, it is very, very important to get all the air out of the bag because if you leave air in the bag, then it'll get freezer burn. So push all the air out of the bag. And here I have our first frozen dinner. So we have our chicken and broccoli Alfredo done. Second is a white chicken chili we're gonna do. So let me get the white chicken chili bag. I've already written on there. I'm gonna put it down in the bowl. Now always put your heaviest stuff on the bottom first. So that's why I already have the meat into the bag. What we need first is a can of tomatoes. Now you can, um, these are fire roasted tomatoes. I also use the Rotel, the ones with the uh, jalapenos in them, that's really good. But I had the fire roasted tomatoes in my pantry, so I used those. You need two cans of green chilies. You can buy the smaller cans of green chilies too. These are the seven ounce can. Um, we like the green chilies, so that's why I bought the bigger cans to put into here. Next, I need to add the beans. It's just three cans of Great Northern Beans. Make sure that you drain and rinse your beans first before they go in. You're gonna need one chopped onion. Now, if you don't like onions, then omit that from the recipe, but I think onions give a lot of extra flavor. You're gonna need two teaspoons of cumin. I realized when I made this that I only put in one, but the recipe does call for two teaspoons. Add two teaspoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of pepper. And then I need three 
cups of chicken broth. I use this better than bouillon chicken broth. Make sure and buy the organic kind when you buy it. Otherwise, it has a lot of uh, fillers in there. It has um, corn syrup and other things that you don't need in your chicken broth. So since I make it from the jar, I already had the chicken broth ready. And you guys, that's it. Now I have a white chicken chili. So I wanna make sure and get all the air out. So I'm pushing the air out, very, very important. So I'm just gonna seal it up and then mix it all around so the spices get moved around so that when it thaws out, it'll be incorporated all throughout. And then at the very end of this video, I'm gonna show you how to actually make this chicken chili. So make sure and watch that. And there, I just got a little more air out so I don't get freezer burn. And now chicken parmesan. So um, have your meat in the bottom. You'll need uh, chicken thighs or at least four chicken breast. And this is so simple. All of them are simple, but this is really simple. So I'm gonna put in one tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Add one teaspoon of garlic powder, but you know how much we like our garlic, so I'm adding two teaspoons to ours. And then you'll need one jar of pasta sauce. I like this organic marinara. Oh, I can get it open. <laughs> Okay, and then just pour your pasta sauce down in here. Now the chicken will also make fluid whenever you're cooking it. So I only put one jar of pasta sauce in, and then I use a second jar whenever we go to serve it. So that's it. It comes together that quickly. Let me just seal up the bag, get all the air out again, which is super important to do. Now you might be thinking, I could just do this the night I make dinner, which is true. But if you already have your meat out, you might as well make these meals and have them ready in the freezer. All you do is mix this up and now you have chicken parmesan. For your chicken parmesan and your chicken broccoli alfredo, you just pick whatever kind of noodles you like. They could be lentil or organic, ancient grain, could be zucchini noodles or squash, whatever your family likes. Now I'm gonna make a Mexican chicken. So I have chicken breast this time, but I wasn't going to make this, and then I found this chicken breast was needed to use this also, so I decided to add on the Mexican chicken. I don't have my clear bowl now because in the meantime, I made some bread. So I'll put my clear bowl aside, but I can't wait to show you what this bread looks like. It's a no meat bread. You throw it in the bowl, you cook it, it's done. It's simple. But anyway, back to chicken. So I already have my chicken breast into my bag and I labeled it Mexican chicken. I'm gonna stick it down in the bowl just so it can hold it and start adding my ingredients. So first drain and rinse your beans and I'm gonna add black beans into my bowl and then dice up an onion and add the onion to the bowl. And then I'm gonna put these jalapenos in. Now jalapenos, this is optional. We like the spicy, so we're gonna put it in. But you do not have to put in onions or jalapenos into yours if you don't like onions or your kids don't like onions. Okay, so next is corn. I just have some organic corn here, so it's at least non-GMO. I am making a mess. I got corn, I got uh, onions, everything's flying around. So after that, I've got two cans of tomatoes with green chilies. I'm gonna put the diced tomatoes and green chilies in here. And you see why it's nice to have a bowl because otherwise this would fall right over. Put the juice in also. And the last thing I put in is my taco seasonings. Okay, so three tablespoons is normal for a seasoning packet or you can just put a taco seasoning packet in. And the last thing I need to put in is a half a cup of water. I'm just gonna pour that right down in there. I already have the water from the tomatoes juice that's in there, so I don't need to put a lot of water in. And then this is the organic bouillon, but I don't need to make it into the bouillon right now. I'm just gonna stick that straight down in, and whenever it's in the crock pot or the instant pot, it will already cook. So that's it. I'm gonna pull it out of my bowl and Mexican chicken is done. So push the air out again. That's the most important thing.
and that quickly you have four dinners ready to go into the freezer. Now the best thing is to get your freezer meal out the night before and put it in the refrigerator, but I forget like all the time. So instead you can run sink or <laughs> run water in your sink. Um, a hot water or warm water just enough that it'll sit there for just a few minutes that you can break it up into chunks so it's still frozen but I can put it into my instant pot now instead of a big large rectangle chunk I cooked it in the instant pot for 18 minutes I let it pressure release for 10 minutes and then I took out the chicken and you can see how tender it is it just shreds with one fork then put the chicken back into the pot and mix and you have a creamy, delicious chicken broccoli alfredo that I top with Parmesan cheese and we just have a salad on the side. Now on to how to make the white chicken chili. So I cooked in the Instant Pot for 20 minutes and then after it was done you can see that it's still bubbling. A little help here. Hi Josie. <laughs> So I need to remove all the chicken from the pot so that I can shred it, but before I get to that, I need to get the cream cheese into the soup. So I switch from manual and I put it on to saute so it can start heating the pot back up again. It's already hot, but it just keeps it heated. So I need a half of a bar chunk, I'm not sure what you even call it, of cream cheese into there so it gets really creamy and then I took some heavy whipping cream you could take some milk or whatever you want to use and I put a fourth a cup of cornstarch with a half a cup of heavy whipping cream now you can omit this along with the cream cheese if you're trying to make it really light but I just figure with all this soup a half a chunk of cream cheese is not that much and this is where you get the really creaminess um, of your white chicken chili so just Keep moving it around. The, it's going to start boiling with the saute mode. Keep moving it around until it dissolves. And I recommend to cut the cream cheese into small chunks so that it dissolves easier than just putting in that big chunk of cream cheese. And then I go over and I shred my chicken up. It's so tender that it shreds super easy. I stir around my soup just to make sure that everything is dissolved in there, the cream cheese and the cornstarch mixture. And now it's time to return the chicken to my pot. This is creamy and delicious and I made it with all real whole foods. I just like to serve it with some cheese and cilantro on top. Now let's make Mexican chicken. So I got it out the night before, put it in the refrigerator. I'm putting it in the Instant Pot for 20 minutes. So I put it on ceiling, set my Instant Pot manual 20 minutes, and when it's finished, this is what it looks like. Now the chicken is so tender that it j is just breaking up inside of the pot. So I didn't even need to take it out to shred it first, so I'm just shredding it inside of the pot. So you could eat this several different ways. We're gonna eat it on top of nachos, so I need to get all of this juice drained off so we could have it on nachos or on top of taco shells. I drained it off, added some cilantro on top, and then we just topped our nachos with tomatoes and guacamole and some sour cream. Actually, I used Greek yogurt and lettuce, and it was absolutely delicious. Or you could add a half a cup of heavy whipping cream and you have a delicious chicken tortilla soup. Okay, time to go put these in the freezer. If you like this video, hit that like and subscribe button below. It really helps me out. And I will see you next time.